Hey guys, Tiffany here and welcome to Our Organic Life. I thought it'd be really fun to take a quick bit to uh, come to you guys and make a video and introduce you guys to all of our farm animals. Um, recently, um, I was a featured guest on uh, the Goldshaw Farm podcast with Morgan Gold and uh, he was intrigued by the diversity that we have on our homestead. While it's not uncommon for homesteaders to have a diverse bunch, he was still just kind of really intrigued by the amount of animals that we have on our small farm. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have a eight acre farm in, oh, it's getting bright. Yeah. We have an eight acre farm in South Florida and um, we have, uh, uh, what's the word, a myriad, myriage, a, a group, like we just have a, 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 we have a very diverse bunch of animals. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and introduce you to all of them. So the first bunch that I'm going to introduce you to is our pasture flock. Now our pasture flock I think we have every type of fowl you can have in our pasture flock. And I hope it's not too bright. It's pretty bright right now. But in our pasture flock, we have chickens, ducks, two turkeys, and a Sebastopol goose. Here is our first people to introduce. Hi, this is Ernette. Watch out, baby. Watch out. This is Ernette, and the one walking away is actually Bert. These were um, turkeys that we bought a while back, as originally they were believed to be Bert and Ernie, but then it turned out we got one male and one female. They do have a purpose on our farm. Um, they are broad-breasted uh, turkeys, broad-breasted bronze turkeys, and we got them uh, to raise up for Thanksgiving. Wow, why did that go up high? So, but that is what they are here for. They're doing great. We're letting them live out their lives here with the other ducks and chickens. And speaking of ducks, go ahead and introduce you guys to the other members of our flock. What are you doing? What is she doing in there? So, this is our crazy kooky flock. So we've got over here, they don't have names yet because we're still waiting to determine who all is male and female. We think we might have two male, two or three roosters in the bunch, but these are our Splash Americanas and they are going to eventually replace our regular Americanas. You see the brown ladies here, they are our regular Americanas. But this is our one that we know is a rooster and we're thinking he's gonna be the one Big Daddy, Big Boss Daddy. We gotta come up with a name for him. Hi babies, I know. These are our, that's one of our regular Americanas right here. Actually, where is Noelle? We have an older Americana who is actually a mix and she was one of our originals. Noelle, uh, there you are mama. That's Noelle. She was actually born around Christmas time, hence the name Noelle. Hi pretty mama, she is one of our oldest. Um, our other oldest we've got right here actually this is smog she's another she, they're they're actually half sisters they came from the same lady that we got a while back and then this is our oldest we have two that are our two oldest and this is speckle our black australorp she is leon's first chicken and i want to say she's about six years old now and might be seven might be actually no I think she's five or six but she's doing good she's gonna live her life out here on the farm because she was Leon's first chicken and uh, those are our chickens now we've got ducks as well as you can see so we've got kind of a mixed flock now we started out with a uh, buff or Orpington ducks and these are the tan ones here the very pale buff colored ones hi babies and then this little brown one right here, that is a khaki Campbell. Haven't determined a name, waiting to see if it's male or female. That came from Morgan Gold of Goldshaw Farms. And let me see if I can, oh, can I see you? Ah, there she is. That's a black, the black one that you see, that is a Cayuga. And that was another one that came from Morgan. And we hatched them. Oh. And so they're all running together happily, quacking along. Quack, 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 quack. Can I get close? Hi, babies. So, 
me see. So there you go. You can see her now. She's starting to get some of the green in her feathers. So, but I'm thinking of names for them. And then, where is she? Where is Magnolia? There's my baby girl. Here, come on, let's get you out in the grass where we can see you nice and clear. So this is Magnolia. Whoops, hold on, so graceful. You're not a ballerina, that's for sure. Magnolia! So this is Magnolia, she is our Sebastopol goose. Baby! Magnolia! There's a pretty girl, oh hi. Hi. She is still coming into her adult feathers, but look at how pretty she is. Aren't you Magnolia? Yes. Ah, oh, baby. That's a pretty girl. So that is Magnolia. And then we'll move on to the goats. So this is Mocha, the big one, and this little gray doling right here, this is her daughter, Sophie, which you guys are familiar with because we've had a big, huge naming of them. You guys picked and voted on names. So this is Sophie, and then of course, Mocha. They're doing great. And then this little one right here laying down, looking like he's ready for snooze time. This is Walnut. Walnut. Give me the get them chin scratches. Yes. That's Walnut. And Sophie, you can't eat my shirt. You can't eat my shirt. Hi, babies. Hi, do babies. Yes, you guys are so cute. Stop eating my shirt. <laughs> and then the other one. Over here, this is Waffle. Waffle, hi Waffle. You're laying in the food trough. Do you belong in the food trough? I don't think you do, but you're very cute. That's Waffle and that Maple. It's a lovely view of you. This is Walnut and Waffle's mama, Maple. Hi baby girl, she's, she's getting her grays on. Yes, hi, I'm talking about you. Hi, pretty mama. Yes, this is Maple. And we'll go introduce you to the other two goats that we have. Now, the goat herd, the herd that we have right now is a mix. Majority of the herd is made up of Nigerian dwarfs. And then Mocha, um, the gray doe, she is a myotonic fainting goat. You know the funny fainting goats that you see online? That's what she is. Eventually, we actually are going to be transitioning away from the Nigerian dwarfs to a myotonic fainting herd um, as breeders, uh, raising for pets and potentially food. Because um, the Nigerian dwarfs, that's really all they are. They're just pets. We aren't using them for milk or anything like that. So eventually, they're going to be moving to a new pasture and we'll be bringing in new myotonic fainting goats. But here are our other two goats. Pepper, saffron, you guys want some food? Here, let's pick some grass for them. They'll come right up for some grass. Hi, babies. Hey. So this is, whoops, there you go. This is saffron right here. He is a apricot colored Nigerian dwarf buck. He's about a year old, but he's getting the job done. And then the black one is Pepper. And she's currently in there working on getting bred by him. She's probably already bred. But they're hanging out being pasture mates, or pen mates right now. Um, they are waiting for us to get our uh, fence up where they can be out on pasture and grazing, which is going to be really much better for them. They'll be happier out there. but. Yeah, it's going to be fun to get together with my garden because we got to keep them out of the garden. Oh. <laughs> They're constantly trying to decide who is in charge. Yes. So we do have another flock of chickens, but they are a specialty breeding flock, and that is bearded silkies. So we have a small flock of bearded silkies that we have in this coop. Oh, hi, Mama. Actually, we got caught some sitting in here right now. Let's see who's either laying eggs or trying to sit on eggs. Silkies are notorious for trying to go broody. Mamas, what are you guys doing? Oh, actually, perfect timing. I had introduced you guys to 
one of our oldest chickens we have on the farm, Spackle. Well, this is this is the other hen that is. Oh, you're fine, mamas. This is one of our. Oh yeah, you guys are trying to sit on eggs. This is one of our other oldest hens. This is Coco. She was our first silky we ever got, and she is very much loved. She is the sweetest silky, the best mama. She has hatched many babies in her lifetime. And she's just like, see, she's even sitting on eggs right now, and she's just like, you're fine, you can sit here. This is sugar. Oh, don't be a meanie, you're fine. I know, I'm, I know, you wanna sit on your eggs, but you can't right now, okay? You don't need no babies right now. But that's King Daddy. That is our main head rooster who's actually gonna be moving on soon. He is a painted bearded silky rooster. See, there we go, you see his markings. Let me actually go ahead and open up so you guys can see. All right, I'll let you get ladies to it. No, I'm gonna take these eggs. You can't have these eggs. I'm sorry. Coco, you got any eggs under you? Okay, yeah, see, see you sneakies? I see your eggs. Look at this, hiding all these eggs. So let's go in here. And it looks like it's, you guys still got food left. All right, so let's see who all, let you guys meet everyone in here. So I see you guys are dust bathing. So we only have a few of these guys that actually have names because a lot of them, half of the flock right now is still coming into age and determining who is male and who is female. So first see we got this one right here. This is a, this is a splash Americana, uh, splash Americana. This is a splash bearded silky, but that is a rooster. See how long the neck is? This one right here, this little black one, that is a hen. That's actually our one black bearded silky hen. Hi, pretty baby. That one down there is another, is a partridge hen named uh, nutmeg or cinnamon. That's nutmeg, nutmeg, yeah, that's nutmeg. And then we've got, so we've got this black one right here. She doesn't yet have a name. We just recently started figuring out that that was a girl. Or well, we're pretty sure it's a girl, but still working on it. This one down here, she's not dead. She's just us bathing. That is a partridge hen of ours. Her name is Nutmeg. You clean baby girl, she's so pretty. And then you can you can see the splash silkies in the back. That is a new little painted silky that we raised up that we're trying to get a uh, painted hen before Mr. King Daddy moves on. This is another one right here, this this lightly colored one. I'm not sure what coloring she is. She's so pretty though, I adore her. Her name is Rosemary. Yes, I'm talking about you, Rosemary. And then, yes, yeah, so you can see that little hen right there, see with her big, huge pom-pom. Yes, I'm seeing you, fancy girl. I know, you all are like, what are y'all, what are you doing in here? So, most majority of them do not have names though because they're still coming of age, but half of them do have names, so we'll be coming up with names shortly for all of them. Hi, gorgeous. Yeah, you're pretty. Yeah. Can, can you, can you, ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am, can you, can you, thank you. Yeah, we want to see your beautifulness. There you go. There we go. You see, we can see your beautifulness. I know, you're dust bathing. I'm sorry. But you're gorgeous. You're very pretty. I love my silkies. They are the sweetest things. Such sweet birds. So, the next group, of course, they're all the way at the far end of the pasture, is our herd of Jersey cows. Now, we had a bigger herd, but we had to thin out. But we used to have three cows, two steers, and a bull, and then a heifer. And um, we had to thin out the herd. We unfortunately lost our heifer in a freak accident. So right now our current herd of jerseys accounts for one cow, a bull, a steer, and a bull calf that's gonna be getting steered out. But, goodness gracious, I'm sorry, I'm breathing so hard, it's so hot. And I'm walking everywhere. But, here we go, Annabelle! Hi! How's my baby? I know, it's hot, Mama. So this is Annabelle. This is our jer miniature Jersey cow. 
Nikki, my favorite girl. Yes. Oh, yes. You love them chin scratches. They're your favorite. She is such a good girl. She's nine years old this year, so she is, she's older. But that don't stop her. Right, Mama? That don't stop you. See, look here. See, we sit here. We sit together. Is that stop you? Can I get your chin scratches? Yes, there you go. That's my baby girl. I love you so much, Annabelle. Mwah. There's a good girl. I know, it's hot. And then the trio of troublemakers. Hi guys. So this big boy here. Hi Axel. So this is our Jersey bull, Axel. We treat him with respect. He is a bull and a Jersey at that. So he is, he does the job and he has been pretty gentle. So we just kind of Mind him and respect him. Give him his space. He's laying down, so that's the only reason why I'm kind of here. Hi, buddy. Yes, I know. And then this is Brutus, who I have started lovingly referring to as Uncle Brutus because he is Axel's half-brother. And Axel and Annabelle had this little cutie. Hi, Axel. Oh, look at the stick. That is Wellington. And that is Annabelle and Axel's first baby together. So he will be a mid-size, uh, mid-size mini jersey. But we are going to be steering him out. And him and Brutus are just like the best of friends. They buddy up. They go everywhere together. It is the cutest thing ever. And Annabelle gets a break. Don't you, Annabelle? You get a break. Uncle Brutus takes care of the baby. Axel, you're a good daddy. Yeah, you are. You stay being nice. I want you to stick around for a little bit longer. Okay, bud? Yeah, you just keep being nice. That's a good boy. But that is our small herd of jerseys. Oh, look at him taking a snooze. You taking a snooze? Huh, Wellington? Hi. Let me see your cute face. Hi, cutie. Oh, You're under the stick. Oh, I see your little horn starting to come in. So I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it a number of times. It's hot. It's really hot right now. Um, it's not as hot as it was whenever we were having all that rain and the humidity was super high, but it's still pretty, pretty hot. But the last species of animal we have on our farm is horses. And we've got five horses. I believe five. Yes, we have five horses on our farm. Is that bad that I couldn't keep track? <laughs> so one of them's currently having a visit with a friend. Um, he was he did some work over the weekend, so he's still with her. But here is our first one. It's hot, so she's a little sweaty. You could go stand in the shade. You have shade. This is Sky. Hi, gorgeous girl. It's me. You're all hot. Look at you. Wow, you were, I literally was just, <laughs> I was literally just scratching her a little bit ago and you weren't this sweaty. Why don't you go stand in the shade, baby? You got shade. Mwah. You have shade. Why don't you go stand in the shade? <laughs> you You feel a little frisky? Yes, what you doing? What? It's me. Mwah. I got your kisses. <laughs> that's a good girl, Sky. So that's Sky. Let me see if she is she gonna follow me. Oh, there she goes. Now she's following me. <laughs> this is what she does. Sky is. Um, I want to say she's uh, 14 years old. We actually just got her at the beginning of this year, or the end of. I think it was the beginning of this year. She is a cow horse, and so she's got a very unique mentality to her compared to the rest of our horses but this is what she does she determines who her human is for that time and she'll follow you around because that's her job she's trained she is an excellently trained cow horse so this is what she does <laughs> she determines that this is the human and i'm gonna follow the human my pretty girl Do you want scratches? 
You want me to scratch your chest? You are really enjoying me scratching your chest earlier, Sky. Is that what you want? Or you come up here to stand in the shade like you should, because it's hot. Why don't you come up here and stand in the shade? Oh, that trough is still leaking. <sighs> you want chin, you want, you want chest scratches? You want me to scratch your chest? Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, see what she does. Scratch your chest. Oh, oh. Does that feel good? Oh, I know. You just want to hang out? Yeah, what, Mama? You just want to hang out? You're such a good girl. Yes. All right, you ready? All right, you cool off in the shade, Mama. It's hot. All right, I'm gonna take you guys out to our other horses who are in a separate paddock. <laughs> so this is Penny. This is my son's pony. What you got in your eye? You got gummies in your eye. Come on, baby. I gotta clean that out. Come here. But this is Penny. She is our old, well, one of our two old girls on the farm. She is Leon's pony, his barrel pony. She was my barrel pony when I was Leon's age. And she is just, she is 34 years old this year. Aren't you, old girl? Yeah, she's my sweet baby. I love you so much. Yes. She just got eating, got done eating her breakfast. All right, you go get your food. And then here is our other resident old girl, also 34 this year. This is Hannah. Hi, Hannah. You want to meet everyone? I'll come down on your level. <laughs> this is Hannah. Hi, baby. Mwah. You look like you're ready to take a snooze. Yeah, I think she's ready for a snooze. <laughs> she just got done eating her breakfast, and now she's ready for a nap. Penny, she didn't finish her food. You want to have the last bit of it, baby? Here. Here. I'll let Penny finish that up. And then here is our last animal to introduce you to. Um, her name, Riku. Hey. Hi, baby. This is my husband Davis's horse. This is Riku. She is, hey, come here. Come here. I just want to introduce you. There you go. <laughs> this is Riku. She is a paint. And she is so sweet. Yes. We got her last year, at the end of last year. So she is his horse and she is just the biggest sweetheart. Are you enjoying that alfalfa? Yeah, we currently got them on a big old big old block of alfalfa because that's that's what does the best for Penny and Hannah on their weight you enjoying that huh you enjoying that honey so she's a pretty girl such a pretty girl so those are our animals on the farm I hope you enjoyed this um, I will uh, hopefully here soon be giving you guys the good news that we pulled the loan on to start building the house and uh, we'll be documenting that process here soon uh, here soon I will be doing a virtual walkthrough of what our future farmhouse is going to look like and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy that so take it easy